This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow me back here with another episode of Vandal Hearts. In the last episode, Chapter 4 began with our with the um, with the destruction of the prison. The, the the flames of revolution have spread across the land, and now we're holding back against Hellspite's army. But at some point, Push is going to come to shove, and he's going to shove here pretty soon. Possibly today. So before we begin, let's make sure everyone is... Uh, has the shop, has everything upgraded, all their armor and everything like that. That's going to be very important. Hopefully everyone has something on them. Hopefully a heal of some sort or something to help with damage uh, of some sort. I mean, I don't have the perfect build. Probably a good idea would probably just maybe sell some of your herbs and buy mega herbs instead. I think we'll be good for this fight specifically, but I thought I'd let you know what I've got here. Um... I've also upgraded Huxley and Sarah to level 20. I just got kind of lucky there. I redid the key fight off screen and killed all the mimics as well as the bandit. And I got like an extra 200 gold. And I ended up leveling up Huxley and Sarah to level 21 because of that fight. Because then I was able to just... I just paralyzed the bandit and then just kept casting Mystic Shield on, on them and just to build up their levels. Um, make sure to... I guess you don't have to do the key fight now. You could have done that later. Uh, make sure advance everyone you got. Uh, talk to everyone who you want to, and but now we've got to head off to. Uh, we've been tasked by Clive as he's heading off to another place to get to go to Kai. I think it was Kaichi or something like that, or Keichi, to find a information on the Royal Ring to help with the stone. If it gets found, then the stone can be used to destroy us all. So, all right, let's leave town and head on that way and fight whoever it's gonna. We're gonna fight. Yes, they surrounded the town. What? Uh, what do you mean surround the town? Like Girl Scouts? Or or fans of us? Or maybe other people who want to join the revolution? Uh, you know, I mean, there's probably the swells of people have joined in the ranks and everything like that. I mean, it's not like the Crimson Knights found us, you know? I mean, we've been keeping ourselves hidden. I mean, Kane himself didn't come to our door to uh, fight us or anything like that. Damn it! Ash, so you're alive. Kane. So we want... There's one of them. Oh, wait. That's another unique sprite. Two bosses... These are the fools that destroy the prison. Uh-oh. Three? They look like pewter weaklings. Four? They are no match for the Crimson Leaders. I probably should have done a different voice for that guy. Oh, well. Don't forget they killed Lando. Lando killed Rizian? No one's time to have him killed. Lando was always the weakest of us. Don't worry, we'll make certain he doesn't live here alive. Uh-oh. The Crimson Leaders are all here. We're not ready to take them all on! Speak for yourself, Dolan. We've got to break out of this trap. Con everybody concentrate on getting out of here. Uh, way to uh, way to lead everyone, Ash, by just saying, run, get out of here! Uh, all right, the uh, concept of this fight is to get to the exit. The exit is right here. Now, probably what the game expects you to do is pull enemies around and then get to the front, maybe hit the switch here so you can open the front and then just charge to the front and hopefully maybe survive a couple of things. What we're going to do is we're going to kill all the bosses, collect all the treasure, and no one will die. I'm serious. It's not easy to do, but I can do it. Um, so what we want to do is we want to make it to this island here. We want to form a protective barrier against ourselves with the help of our guardsmen. Hopefully you have two guardsmen in your group. But, uh, well, Ash can probably do a job protecting this place too. But anyway, let's move everyone down there. So I'll go over the sets with enemies as we as we move. I might do it as they come along because I don't want to, I don't want to, depending on how, this might take like an hour depending on like what happens. So we'll just have to kind of see from there. Um, Cause yeah, this fight can uh, take a bit if you're, well, I mean, most of the time it will be me trying to decide how I want to move. Cause there is some very, there is some randomness to it because you know, blocking, counterattacking, um, uh, you know, movement, AI movements might change depending on like, what's available and all this other stuff so there are a lot of things to consider but i think if you have a general concept of the mechanics i think we'll be able to be fine um and hopefully you have a build similar to mine maybe not exactly the same you could probably swap out some people one or the other but i think as general as a general rule you should be around somewhere you know evened out on everything the only thing we're missing is unfortunately kira with an extra range attack but that's not much we can do about that um, do not use your healing for uh, silly things like just buffing up for experience gains like I normally would. We're going to need most of our healing to survive this if we want everyone to survive intact. Um, yeah, because we push that block out of the way, Kurtz won't immediately gang up on us. 
Uh, one of the biggest threats, at, the, at least at the beginning, is going to be Kane's group as well as the Crimson Flyers, or uh, the Crimson Hawks, because they can fly. So, um, and they can do a decent amount of damage. I'll go over their stats here in a second, but it is possible because of some of our characters and their levels, they may be able to one-shot some of our dudes. That's the problem with this fight is that some of our characters might be a bit underleveled by the time they get here. So that's probably why most people consider um, running instead of killing them all. But I think I can do it with my stats. Um, it helps that uh, Sarah and Huxley are level 20, so their stats are going to be decent. So they, I don't think they'll be one-shot because they're a little bit higher level. Most of the Crimson Knights are like level... 19 or yeah 21 for most of the bosses um, this there's two chests in this play uh, right here and here and there's a secret here now this secret isn't required for anything specific so be, uh, probably because of the difficulty of the fight so if you don't get this it's fine but if you kill everyone and since the mechanic of the fight is to get everyone off the field um, you can just kill everyone and then go find it so all right the first tough part of here is getting to this island here and this uh, crimson hawk here now luckily the crimson hawk cannot attack you from this because it's too big of a range he can't attack from here though um so what we want to do what we need to do is get someone over here let me see what his movement is yeah unfortunately unfortunately clint can get one-shotted by this guy so because of it unfortunately it's because of his level um and there's not much i can do about that so and the, the hawk knight can't attack here and we're gonna have a crimson knight his movement can get, yeah, can get right here. So that's gonna be a difficult thing is to find the first part because of the damage there. So, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and, sm actually I could just leave him here, but the only problem is if he sits there, we'll have to force, it'll, it'll pinch us too much. So we'll have, to have, we'll have to put someone up in the front, which is, Ash can survive, I know Ash can survive a hit from the Crimson Flyer, or Crimson Hawk, so. Uh, so we're gonna put him in front. If you're really worried, you can put like, you could use like his um, uh, if you have like the the iron boots or whatever, which I'm actually gonna do, uh, just in case. Um, but uh, oh, I didn't know you could. Uh, technically, I could use that on Clint and see if he survives a hit, but I don't want to risk it. Your defense is 97. Yeah, the flyers, as you oh yeah, you can see the uh, their attack modifiers are pretty high. Because the fire could, yeah, get behind there. Now we better. We better not risk that. Okay. Um. Cool. Now I better save the better save the foot for another another thing. Okay. Can you get? I'll probably end up leaving Clint around here or something like that. What is your movement now that we've got this? Yeah, and you can't as long as I move someone over there. Which I'll probably move Eleni. I want to get my wizards kind of in the back of this place as far as I can. Uh, to save against uh, Katrina or Katarina. Oh, we'll go over their stats here in a second when they get closer. Alright, and yeah, we want to make sure to block off um, this portion over here so the flyer doesn't get um, over there. The flyers are probably... Other than like the flyer, the flyers and healers can be your possible risks, high risk during this encounter. Um, the sort, the guardsmen are probably going to be your best asset here. Well, that and the healers, obviously. Uh, let's go over the first group first. We've already talked about the Crimson Hawks, but we're going to fight Kane here. Kane is um, assassin. Oh, Kane assassin. Is that his actual name? Or let me look at uh, your thing. Okay, that's his class. For a second, I was like, is that his name? No, he's an assassin. So, But he's a swordsman build, so he's got all the strengths and weaknesses of a standard swordsman build. He's got healing circle, which what healing circle is, it's the enemy's version of... Well, actually, no, I think it is exactly like um, Sarah's uh, same spell. Yeah, it's the same thing. So it's same as the monk ability, even though he's a swordsman. Uh, but yeah, those are sets that got high attack. And so I'll, I'll basically go over the enemy units as they come along, so... All right, let's see if we can survive the first wave with no one dying. Obviously, if a Ash dies, that's it. So, <laughs> so testing the wires there. That's probably why I gave him the Grim Helmet so he could survive that uh, first attack. So, but yeah, it's if you're a first-time player, you're probably I would not even suggest trying to fight all these guys. But if you play this game as many times as I have over the years, um, yeah, I've made mistakes on recordings and stuff like that. But you know, just chalk it up to whatever. Um, you know, accident mistakes or whatever. So, yeah, see, Ash can survive with the 
But yeah, if you had a... If he had Clint there, Clint would have gotten one-shotted. Mainly because he's like two levels below him. And uh, he's a guardsman, or he's a swordsman, so he's not strong. Yeah, here's the second uh, Crimson Knight, uh, Crimson Flyer. He's going to be just as annoying. Um, oh yeah, I guess another another useful will help through this fight is you got your your guardsman will be very useful for blocking off the pathways because that's how we're going to beat this encounter. Is we're going to use the island as a as a mini fort, um, and then we're going to use basically we're going to have them protect the uh, we're going to have them protect the magic users while they cast like Roman fire and um, uh. Uh, phase shift. We're not going to cast phase shift yet. There's not enough people here, so let's go ahead and... Do I want to go ahead? I kind of want to take you out early. Uh, okay, well, we'll start with Roman Fire. Have a little fire, Scarecrow. Yeah, phase shift we're going to save for when the next group comes back, so when we're actually surrounded. This first bard's dangerous just because we might not have a good blocking mechanic here. Um, oh, yeah, don't... Um, uh, unless you're a ranged character or whatever, I highly suggest um, the. Um, I highly suggest that you don't attack unless you know for sure you're gonna finish them off. You know, like if you're like like if you're attacking from behind, for example, then you're like, okay, I can just. Uh, I know I know Clint can take a. Uh, how do I want? I think I'll probably have Huxley heal at this point. I do need to move Ash. Ash actually, has he gotten this at this level? Yes, he now has the Fairy Star ability, which is his uh, healing. It's uh, uh, Fairy Star will, is actually a ranged heal, so he can actually heal other people if he wants to. Um, not that we're supposed to use him for healing, but... Okay, what's your movement like? This is another character we had to watch out for, is the, this Crimson Hawk here because of the movement. I kind of want to make sure to block off his uh, range onto the thing here. So as long as someone's here and here... He shouldn't mess with us too much. So, I don't want to do this. Oh, yeah, be, uh, there is a lot of um, variables involved in this, too, um, because of the whole... Uh, I think, yeah, we want to heal with Huxley here, so we're going to go ahead. Because, he, unfortunately, heal is not strong enough for this, so we're going to heal plus him. Yeah, make sure to heal, like, every... Every, every chance you get, make sure to heal. Um, do not... I would not... I wouldn't go crazy on certain heal things, but definitely make sure everyone's up to stump because there's a high chance you might get one-shotted by someone if you're not paying attention. So, um, Do I have enough movement for this, though? I think I do. Yeah, I know Clint can survive a... Um, hmm, I know Clint can survive a, a one attack from the Crimson Guard. If we do enough damage, Kane will actually run away. Okay, we get the Holy H2O. I think that, I think that completely heals um, uh, you. I don't want to do this. Well, I definitely need you to move. I wanted you to move closer, but I guess that's actually not that big of a deal. He just needs to hit, use Roman Fire on, on these guys. He doesn't need to be that close. Yeah, I don't want to waste all of your magic at once. That's why I don't suggest using a phase shift yet. Actually, I might use rolling rolling fire instead of uh, on these guys, maybe. Let's see. The only problem is lack of movement. Whoops. Oh. Alright. Now I'll have to... I think Diego can suffer one hit from the from the Crimson Guard as well. Uh, all right, what do I fire? Oh, do I want to just do two? Because if I hit him well enough, he will. Um, okay, I'll take the risk here. Um, if you do enough damage to Kane, he'll run away and heal himself. And the AI as well. The regular Crimson Knights will attack no matter what. Um, Ash is, actually, Ash is a magic attack, a magic damage. It's actually not bad. So yeah, I almost, I almost killed them all. I almost did a decent amount of damage. Do I want to go ahead? I want to get you there so Huxley doesn't get attacked. Um, 
what is your movement? What are we looking at? So I have to leave someone. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to leave someone behind here. Well, I don't have to, but the, I, I run a risk of... I would have to move everyone, basically. So if you move there... Unfortunately, if I have Sarah take out you, my flyers will be able to help with blocking off. That, because I think I can survive. Okay, I think I've got an idea. I'll have Sarah attack. But that's fine. We're not doing this fight for We're doing this fight to survive. And Grog is in the front here, so I don't mind him getting attacked by the uh, um... Yeah, the only problem is that. I might have to have... I'll probably have Amon step ahead here. And, because, yeah, I know Kane's going to go heal for sure. I don't know if he'll stand in place and heal, but usually he runs back and heals. And I think Amon can suffer a hit from a crimson yeah Darius cannot but Amon can so and I know he'll hit because uh, he's hitting from behind all right and then yeah we'll have Amon stand in front here and no I'm not gonna as much as I have I could possibly kill Kane here but I don't trust I don't trust the random variables so I'm gonna leave as is I know that's probably not the best way to go. Like I said, unless you have a guaranteed kill, like attacking from behind, I don't suggest like initiating attacks. You know what I mean? All right, Dallas will be the next one we encounter. I'll go over his stats here in a second too, whenever whenever they become pertinent. Yeah, yeah this is this is the tense part here is is surviving Kane's onslaught. We should only he should if I'm. Reading it, yeah, good. I, I kind of guessed that the Crimson Guard would attack Grog. But I don't want Grog to be the, the guard for this point. I want it to be Dolan, because he's got the higher HP than Grog does. If Grog gained a level, then it'd probably be fine. But I think I don't think we gained, weirdly enough, despite all the levels and everything, we don't... Huh, some of them are staying in place. That's a little weird. That's Usually they all move. Yep, see, Kane, uh, Kane backed off to heal. I don't know if we were able to get... Uh, Dolan over there to start blocking soon. We want we want our we want our um, uh, guardsmen to be in the center of the bridge. That's the best I think best middle spot for them. Oh, we didn't even move, huh? Okay, well I'll take that. All right. Oh, well, there goes the. F oh wait, no, uh, I want Grog to go. <laughs> Whoops, I almost did the wrong thing. Okay, um, unfortunately that means I don't. I may have to switch it. Hmm. Well, the problem is, is the thing I worry about Grog being here is one, he doesn't have as much HP or defense, but two, uh, is Kurtz right here. That's the guy I'm worried about um, when it comes to Grog. So, do I want to go ahead and Roman Fire again or not? I could just Piercing Ray. Move to a decent spot and Piercing Ray him. Let's see. Because I want to save, I want to save at least one or two phase shifts for when we get super attacked. Uh, decisions, decisions. I might wait until we get uh, surrounded by, because here in a second, we're gonna get surrounded by the rest of these guys. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move Grog here. And I'm gonna move you back. Okay, we're gonna move you up here to take, start taking the hits. Um, no, I think you can take two hits. I'm trying to think if I should actually actively attack in this case. I don't think so. Well, wh where are you going to move? What is your s possibilities? Hmm. High chance. Well, if I block these off, I won't have to worry about it. But oh yeah, the water is a threat because he can fly over that. I could. I've already moved though. How's everyone else's movement? I don't think they can get to him. Can they? No, that crimson knight can. Well, I could cast defense. I could cast a, a mystic shield, and he might be able to survive two hits if he decides to. 
Uh, well, let's see what our... Let's see what options are. I might be able to just go ahead and, and Piercing Ray uh, with uh, Elena, finish him off. I think Piercing Ray should do enough damage. Yeah, okay, good. That threat's done for. Okay, so we need to heal Grog. Although, he can't, well, I need two people to stand here that can take a hit, and that's probably Grog and Ash. So we are going to move our flyers out of the way. We want to make sure that our flyers cannot be targeted easily by Katrina, uh, Katrina or Sabina. I don't want you to keep calling her Katrina. Uh, we'll move them back for now. And then we'll... Um, when I get a good good uh, face of things, I'll... I'll uh, oops. Okay, Ash, we're going to move you here. And do I want to... I don't want heal circle with you because just because well I could just do regular heal with both you guys that should be enough to heal Grog. So. Although heal is three and one is heal plus only four. Hmm. I'd rather heal plus and save the MP. Okay. Yeah, we'll just heal plus. Yeah, Grog needs. Oh yeah, he's gonna do. Oh yeah, I have to be careful about. They should be fine on the damage just because even though they're attacking from above um, it shouldn't be that much I know Grog can take a shot as well as Ash but who has a higher defense? 107 127 okay I'm gonna I usually don't buff in this case but I'm gonna make a double I'm gonna make just doubly sure that um, Ash can survive the hit even, even if uh, even if he normally could just in case I don't want to risk it so so that turns turns to 1-0. Because was it 102 before, or is it just eh, whatever? Okay. Um, I think that's it for now. Okay. Um, second or second round. Or well, fourth turn. You know what I mean. Yeah, here comes the Crimson Armors. Uh, I'll show you their stats here in a second. This is where we start considering. Um, start phase shifting and everything like that. They're all pretty close. I might go ahead and do that anyway. They'll, uh, if you do enough damage to the leaders, they will back off um, and heal themselves. Yeah, okay. I think Dolan could have survived a Crimson Knight attack, but I didn't want to risk that. Yeah, this uh, like I said, it's 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 all about the stats and everything with that in this case because I've got so many characters that are under leveled that th those are the ones I have to worry about the most. Yeah, here comes this uh, Sabina. Yeah, I'll have to move the flyers out of the way when, when he comes. In. Okay, cool. I didn't think he would do that much damage, but I wanted to. Sure. I need to get. Oh, nice. Um, I need to get to the middle of this bridge so I can. Uh, so I can handle the um, Sabina. Oh, it looks like Kane is not moving. Because Sabina, she can... Well, one, she's ranged, so that sucks. But she can, like I said, she can one-shot your flyers. So so I need to move... I'll probably have to move my flyers either way back here or... Uh, let's see, she can fly... So she could hit there or there. So I need to basically... I can move them here and I'd be fine. At least to guarantee that they won't actually hit me or whatever. Yeah, unfortunately my flyers aren't going to do much for now. Um, actually, I might be careful about Hertz because he, his, I believe his uh, dragon or dun, dragger, uh, dagger storm is ranged. The biggest threat is Dolan in this case. Dolan could possibly get. Um, uh, one shot it if he's too low um, on health. That's why we want to make sure that our. Okay, we want to be. I need to move you so uh, Zohar and Elena can get every, all the targets. Let me see where this face shift. That will hit you and all you. Oh right, before I start doing, before I start killing everyone, because we're gonna kill the uh, uh, Crimson Armors with uh, with a uh, face shift with from Elena and Zohar. Crimson armors, yeah, they have decent armor and attack, um, and they're basically heavy armors. Um, then we got Dallas. We won't be able to kill him. He'll probably end up running away. He's got the blood axe, even though it's a hammer, 
but okay. Magic Hammer! And he's a great armor class. Dallas, uh, high attack and defense. He's got extra healing, so it allows him to heal a cross shape away from him. It's got minor range, similar to the... Actually, similar to the healer. So, And then Kurtz has the War Master. He is a monk class, or war, or master class, or whatever. Um, his big thing is, other than his agility is and movement, is Dagger Storm, which does a a single targeting ranged magical attack and it can possibly kill like I said your heavy units um, because it does like last time when I test ran this it did like 142 damage to Dolan so okay let's go ahead and phase shift so since we're gonna get rid of the crimson armors I'll probably end up moving Diego maybe helping him with the uh, with Kane or something like that or maybe the crimson armor that's sitting in front of him Oh yeah, you also want to make sure that Sabine can't uh, like has a decent target outside of like your magic users or something like that. Yeah, see the crimson armors won't can't suffer the the slings and arrows of defeat. Okay, excellent. And she gained a level for that. Woohoo! Woohoo! Um, let's see. I could try to actually. Do I even have the range that came from here? Not in this current spot. I need to hit. If I want to hit, I want to hit Kurt so I can get him to run away too. Yeah, that's why I need to be on that. Well, actually, I technically could probably. Well, let me see what my. If I move. Whoops. Not fire face shift. If I move. Well, up again for sure. If I move back to here, I'll hit him, but I will miss like that Crimson Knight ahead. Yeah, I kind of need that spot to be there. All right, kind of need to move to that spot. So, I think you'll finish him off with a arrow. So I could hit Dallas. Well, I don't know if I'll actually hit him. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. He might block. Yeah, I was afraid he might block. I don't think he has a guarantee to block, but heavy armors usually have a pretty good uh, chance to do that. Oh, well. Let's face shift again. Mwahaha. <laughs> ah, magic users. Best class in the game, I think, just because of phase shift. Even though it costs a lot, we have so much... Well, so much. We can cast it at least, depending on how it goes, two or three times in a fight, so... He might run away from that damage. Nice. Excellent. Yes! Yes! Now you can finally move... Uh, Grog up and uh, take his actual place in the uh, map, which is right here. Um, I don't think that's enough damage for Kane to run away. I'll definitely need to heal heal both of these guys. So I'll probably have to have Sarah heal Grog and then Huxley heal Dolan. Um, she'll have to get right next to him, but she can survive a, a range stack from Sabina if it comes to that. Yeah. I mean, I could do, I could rolling, rolling fire again if I really want to uh, have him run away. Well, let's go ahead and heal circle you. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, after we kind of after we clear these guys, mainly from phase shift and whatever, you'd be surprised how like the game will start working in our favor. And weirdly enough, if there's people blocking the way, some of the enemies will start moving around. Like I've had, I've had like. Like, a Crimson Knight be here, and then these guys ran off to heal, and then because the Crimson Knight was still there, they kept they ran around for a while until they came back to fight me. It kind of spread out their forces. Uh, Sabina usually tends to keep attacking. So yeah, the thing I'm worried about is um, Kane coming in and attacking, and then Sabina attacking, like, Grog or something like that. I think Kane does like, to Grog, I think Kane does like... Like 60 damage or something like that. It might be more than that. And I don't want Clint to be attacked by Sabina if I can help it. I might move him back. I, I need to basically I need to give Sabina some obvious targets um, that aren't like my weaker characters. And I hate to say it, but you know Clint because of his only at 116 is not at a good a good position. So oh well. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully I can get this fight under an hour, but we'll find out. 
you might want to definitely take advantage of the um, in battle map save that would probably be highly suggested uh, I think we're good okay Dallas should run he shouldn't attack us I believe yep he's gonna heal All right, I knew he'd do that or I had a pretty good idea he like raises his hand at points or something like that okay he healed the Grimson Knight let's see if Kurtz runs away or not Yep, he was definitely going to attack. Alright, let's see what Kurtz does. Oh yeah, the Crimson Knight's running because he can't... Well, not running. Yep, they can't attack me, so they're backing off because they can't... They, they don't... They, they're like, oh, I can't get there. I'll try to go around. And, oh, and yeah, I forgot these Crimson Knights weren't moving for some reason. They were just stuck in place, you know? Yeah, the AI is weird sometimes. You can kind of figure it out if you... All right, what are you gonna do? Okay, you're gonna hit Ash. That's fine. He can take a hit. She's a she's a hottie. Yeah, she she can uh, she, she can attack regular people just fine. Are you gonna heal again? Oh, I didn't know I did that much damage to you. Huh. Okay. I didn't think uh, I didn't think 74 was low enough to cause him to. Well, I mean, I'm glad he didn't attack Gragas. So, well, I guess that was about half HP. Never mind. I guess that makes sense. All right, and once again, we're just gonna. I think we're going to let... Yeah, we're just going to leave that knight there. And the great thing about that is it'll cause, like, Do uh, Dallas and Kurtz to keep running away until a while. Um, yeah, we definitely don't want Sabine. We'll have to move our ranged units up here now. Because uh, Sabine will target your flyers first if it comes down to that. Let me see. What's your range again? Hmm. Although, the, the yeah, Kane and them have kind of moved in a weird spot. You have, uh, you have healing. Well, let's see. Ash took damage. I could go ahead and attack Sabina and then just heal with uh, um, Sarah. Because you can take a hit from Sabina for sure. I could try to rain. I could try to magic blast you a couple of times. The only problem is is putting you guys in the line of fire. Uh, can I hit you from here? No, I'd have to be here. Can Diego hit you from here? Possibly. She might block. No. What, what is your... Can Zohar get close? Yeah. Oh, you got a new... Oh, yeah. Your level, you got a new spell. Let's see what that is. I think it's Poison Cloud? Yeah, Poison Cloud. Poison Magic. Uh, what's its range? I think all it does is... I think it... Whoops. Whoa. Don't want to don't wanna finish the turn yet. Uh, let's see. What is uh, in Venom? Yeah, I think it's just a. I think it's just a rain, a huge poison effect spell. I think. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with that right now. But I think it. Yeah, I think it just does range poison. Um, do I wonder? Let's see. What's? I could get another phase shift. It really comes down to it. So I could do a piercing ray, and darks and a dark star. Yeah, let's try that. I think Zohar can't survive an attack from Sabina. If you're lucky, you can kind of sometimes get Sabina to, uh... Wait, Elena can't get over there, can she? Yeah. Now, can she get... I might... Well, let's see. What's her... Oh, she's at... Hmm, do I want to save for another phase shift? Or, I think we've uh, killed enough people that we probably could go for just Roman fire at this point. This is one of the more risky, risky things. Is Sabine is, is kind of an annoyance, so you almost kind of want to... Even if you don't kill her, you want her to back off for a bit. Mm. Okay. And I wouldn't suggest... Unless, you, unless your flyers are guaranteed to kill her, I wouldn't attack her. Nice. Okay. Oh, she didn't counter. Why? Doesn't she have the range? Huh. Interesting. All right. Do I want to... Because Ash can survive a couple of hits from them, but I don't want to risk that. Okay, for one, I need to heal um, Dolan. So we'll go ahead and do that. I think I might be able... No, it's just Mystic. Better to Mystic Plus than... Better to Zest Fully Clean than, than anything. Oh, I could Rolling Fire her. I think I have enough range for that. Oh, I 
had to be had to be a bit further. Hmm. That would finish her off for sure. And be less of a threat. Ash can survive a hit from the Crimson Guard or Kane, whoever comes and fights him, as long as I heal with uh, Sarah, which I'll move, probably move, end up moving Grog back. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather get rid of Sabina. She's just too 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 annoying to uh, leave leave well enough alone. I had to message you. I'm going. To, I've got to fall back. Goodbye, lady. Ha! Nice. Yeah, Ma Ash is out of magic though. He has a very low magic magic pool. All right, let's go ahead and circle heal. Yeah, unfortunately, circle healed. Oh, she got. Uh, when did she get that? What level is she? Yeah, it was 21. Gave her Thunder Flash, which is another, which is a an attack magic. But it's a, it's basically that Stone Shower, except it's it's a, a high, higher range, but it costs 12 MP. Yeah, Stone Shower and like Thunder Flash are almost ridiculous. They do a decent damage, but it's almost not worth the cost. I mean, Phase Shift is be, is a better spell. You know, when you think about it. But, yep. Okay. If you have magic or, uh, or uh, magic um, oils, you might consider using them on obviously your healers. They're probably the ones you're probably gonna need the most, possibly. Yeah, we definitely want to save at least some magic for um, uh, Dallas and and uh, mainly Dallas because of his uh, uh, great armor. That's where we want to save most of our magic from. Okay, I think I might just leave you guys. You guys can kind of move around pretty. Now, now that the uh, now that the all the ranged fighters are gone, um, this should be a lot easier now. Yep, Dal Dallas is gonna keep moving forward until. Uh... And you won't finish him off. Yep. Yeah, they're all gonna move around, and when I end up killing, when I end up killing them, they're gonna just like run around again. Okay, yep, he, and, he, and Ash shouldn't kill him. Now, yeah, I knew that, but I will have to have Ash back off because I don't want Ash in front. Grog has a lot more, a better armor, and he can handle Kane's attacks uh, better than uh, than you. Okay. Since you're behind, and I know Dallas will not get to you immediately, I'm going to have uh, Darius uh, take you out. He needs the levels anyway. All right. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're good there. I won't have to heal immediately because of that. Um, your ranged, I think, takes you to this door, so we're going to back off. Go and heal with you. Might have a. Might have Zohar Dark Star that uh, uh, Dark Star that guy maybe. That way I don't have attacks from Kane and him. What's your range? Oh. But that would be extra damage that I don't technically need. So let's. Because you haven't, uh, you can do a one, one more dark star and then save a face shift if it really comes down to that. Oh, I could have used Diego. Man, eh, whatever. We can use a mage oil at some point to get the experience for the higher levels from the wizards anyway. I don't think anyone should because the, for whatever reason they cheat me out of the experience for this fight because most of them aren't giving me a ton of experience. So I, I don't think anyone else should hit level 20 by this point. Or at least not that I'm aware of anyway. I'll go ahead and heal plus you uh, again. Yeah, you always want, as soon as Kurtz comes around, you're going to want to make sure Dolan is 100%. You will do not want to risk Dolan's HP for that. Although, if it really comes down to it, Dolan shouldn't be in front. You might switch him with Ash, maybe, if it comes to that. Okay, now we just got to wait for another group. Uh, yeah, at this point, it's all about waiting for the for all the big dudes to come by. Okay, who will hit him first? Probably, it looks like Dallas is programmed to go first. So Dallas will probably end up hitting... Um, Dolan before Kurtz does, and Kurtz will just back off because he'll the AI will be like, oh, okay, someone's there. So weirdly enough, I would have, I think I would have taken out most of the Crimson Knight soldiers by now because they would have all paired up. But for whatever reason, their AI told them to to stay back for a bit. Um, okay, 
guess I'll have Diego. Well, one, I don't want I don't want Darius to be uh, out here, so I'll leave you there. Um, Dol uh, Dallas can do a lot of damage. I think he can do like 100 damage to Dolan or something like that because of his attack. So, um, yeah, let me go and back off here, and then we'll have uh, Diego help with the damage. I'll save my MP for when they're actually close by. If if Kane gets a really good point, then I'll then I'll like start back attacking him and stuff like that. Same with Dallas, but I'll probably save most of my magic for Dallas to weaken him since he's susceptible to that. So I think I'm just making sure everyone's good. Okay, we'll leave as is. Yeah, a lot of turns are going to be just me waiting. Yep, here comes D uh, Dallas. Okay, he does 89 damage. He does a lot of damage. And Kurtz should back off. Yep, he's gonna back off. I guess Dagger Storm must be in the immediate vicinity. I could have sworn Dagger Storm was a ranged spell. Maybe I'm misremembering. Unfortunately, can't look up enemy AI spells, so. Yeah, he's good at. <laughs> oh, he even. I just noticed he twists the blade when he when he attacks you. He kind of goes, kind of tries to like dig it into your body or something like that. I guess that makes sense. It kind of does the Star Killer like concept of a uh, of the blade or whatever. Okay, we'll definitely have to heal you, um, Dallas. Let's see how you handle a bit of Dark Star. Yeah, well, we won't. Um, I'm not gonna use face. I mean, I could use face shift, but well, then again. Good thing Kurtz can't uh, heal himself. And the AI, for whatever reason, decide not to heal themselves. Well, what would Face Shift get me? What would, what would what would I get from that? I mean, I heard of quite a few people. But do I want to risk that I can't cast any more spells with her unless I use Mage Oils, though? And, uh... At some point, the AI will have to come in close, but, uh... But if, if I do that, that'll hurt both Dallas and Kane. And then I could probably get Diego or someone else to help with uh, finishing off Kane. I might I might do phase shift. That might be the way to go here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do phase shift. That's probably not the best upper, uh, best thing, but I think. Too bad if I moved. Oh, can you actually can so hard can you hit with your phase shift here? You can. What if you move over to the side? Can you still hit that, that one guy on the top? No. Okay. I was curious if I could hit this guy way up here with with it. So, Who's has a higher level right now? Oh, they're both at the same level. Wait. Why is her HP different from his? They're the same class. Huh. There must be some random variable when it comes to, like, um, levels. It's probably my nudes, but... Or maybe it's the Zenro. Maybe the Zenro gives them, like, an extra HP or something like that. Because every class is supposed to level up the same. That didn't do as much damage as I would have hoped. Uh, against Dallas, anyway. Well, this will... If, if that did as much damage, then that should finish off uh, Kane, then. I might, I might end up using some mage oils on these guys just to get like another one or two spells off of them. Oh, nice. I might be able to back attack. Uh, you got lucky. You got lucky, punk. -o. I keep forgetting which voice I get for game. You'll be. Oh, uh, you got lucky, punk. I'll be back. He covers his eyes. It's got damage. Okay. Might risk. Well, since I've got. Since, well, oh no, you will heal plus, so we can survive that. So let's see if we can do some damage to you. Oh, nice. I didn't expect to actually kill him. Uh, I'm gonna vamoose! Alright, excellent. How's your HP? Okay. Um, yeah, we'll heal plus... Actually, we probably don't... Nah, yeah, best to... Actually, I might... Well, no. Um, I might ultra heal with you. Can I hit both of you? No. That's... I could move Grog back. Grog doesn't technically have to be here. And that'll heal both of them. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. 
I wouldn't normally move him back like that, but... There we go. Unfortunately, it's gonna, like, heal so many people, but it'll... It'll max... It should max out Dolan. Hopefully. I think it should do enough healing for that. Oh, yeah, this fight's gonna go on to about an hour, so... Oh, well, I expected that to happen. Ah, nice. Yeah! Yeah! Ooh, oh boy. Look at that heals. Yum, yum, yum. I think we're good for this now. Now we just have to wait for Kurtz to come back. Yeah, I might have to swap him out, uh, swap out Dolan with like Ash or something like that so he can take the Dagger Storm attack. We'll have to look and see what his range is. <coughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of cheesy that they don't give me enough experience for for these guys. I don't know. I think I think I should have gotten a, quite a decent reward from the uh, uh, from the boss characters for this. But... Oh, he's running away because he can't he can't like access that bridge. So there might be a few turns of me waiting for him. You will get in Dolan's range. Unfortunately, there's no ability that like lets me. Um, uh, I said I might just uh like swap you out for Ash. Well, let's see. Can I think? I think Ash could take the hit too. But hmm. what's your? Ra oh, you ran off, so we could probably back attack you if it came to it. Uh, who's got the? I know Darius can't be one shotted. There's that. Now what I could do is I could see where was where was Kurtz's original movement? He was was he here? Crap! I wish I kind of uh, paid attention to that. So we could technically get here if I move everyone back. I want to see if I can get him to move forward. That way I don't run the risk. I. I know Dolan can survive it, but it's one of those like, weird weird ticks where I'm just like, eh. And if it came down to it, I could just range attack him or attack him from behind. Okay, so... Well, I can't use you guys anymore, so I'm going to put you in the back here. Actually, do I want to go ahead and mage oil any of you? That would help. I think I might be able to survive without doing that. I know this is probably the best fight to actually utilize Mage Oil, but... got a decent range. I, I miscounted by a bit, but that's fine. <coughs> oh, I forgot to heal Grog. Oh, that's, um, that's fine. I just want to see, like, what, if everyone's going to move, and then you're going to move. Yep, okay. So his Dagger Storm is a close quarters attack. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. Okay, oh, dang it, he moved in a weird, that's right, in the move spot where I can't just, like... Um, do I want to attack him with Dolan? No, I do not. How's your attack damage? 69? <laughs> um... Impressive, but I will see you again. Okay, he's dead. So I probably went a little too like over over crazy about um about him. Actually, at this point, 
Let's go have it had Dolan uh, and uh, a or Darius and Amon go after the treasure chest in the secret, since we're pretty much on on gravy par. Right, let me go ahead and heal you. Yeah, it was a. Uh, but yeah, see, um, with only two crimson guards left, right? It's just two regular ones, right? Had that one experience game to level? Alright. Alright. Yep. Okay. Only two Crimson Guards left, and that's it. We've beaten all of them without a single loss. Am I am I not your king? Am I not your god? Um I probably went a little bit too over over protective of uh, certain scenes, but I didn't want to risk all that work and then like one critical failure and then boom, you're you're screwed. I mean, even and then Grog will just end up just counterattacking him to death, you know. Actually, does she have enough uh, MP to show off Thunder Flash? Yeah, let's throw off Thunder Flash. Why not? It's a good. It's a good time to do it. Did I show? I did. Did I show Perfect Red yet? Yes, I did last episode. Okay, let's show off Thunder Flash. I'll show off White Poison Cloud another day. Here it comes. Oh boy, what can a ninja do? Baka no Jutsu! Or whatever, I don't know, whatever they, they use for that. Yeah, not the most oppressive spell, but yeah, it'll work. There we go. They're all dead. Yay! Now we need to move everyone to the entrance. And we'll have our flyers go... Um, eh, I'll just have you grab that one. And... We get an aura gem. Okay, that was an aura gem. For some reason, I thought it was an elixir there. My bad. Yeah, see, folks, you can beat every single Crimson Guard at this point in the game. You just have to utilize um, your abilities, make sure you had a decent uh, build, or uh, make sure everyone the the party is uh, balanced enough. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to have, if you want to do a kill all the uh, Crimson Guard run, you definitely have to have two Guardsmen. They're the only, and at a decent level. 18 is probably preferred. Just in case of like Kurtz does like somehow does Dagger Storm on one of them. Um, yeah, too bad the uh, too bad you have to run all the way to the entrance because I hadn't been doing that for quite a while. So yeah, we're all like we better run away, run away, everyone. They're gonna get us. Oh wait, they're all dead. Yeah, too bad the game acts as if you ran away. Yeah, we get the golden axe. Um, I don't think I think it can just be sold. I'll delete that one up. It's. That's one of those, like, most people don't end up getting the Golden Axe, so I, I tend to forget, like... Oh yeah, now I can use the, my extra MP to buff, because why not? I have a few extra MP left. Now, that's why I was thinking that maybe I didn't need the Mage Oils. I really want to save the Mage Oils for when we get to a point where, uh, like, maybe Huxley or Sarah gain so many levels that they're that uh, healing them or putting, a, like, a Mage Oil on them will, like, ridiculously raise the experience of the... Oh yeah, I guess I could have gained Sarah a couple more levels without using Thunder Flash, but I wanted to show it off. I mean, really that, I mean, I can get her levels. I mean, she's technically over-leveled for this section of the game anyway. Like I said, you probably, most of your characters are probably going to be 18 or 19 by this point. Except in a few rare circumstances like Clint. Unfortunately, Clint suffers from, like, because of being a guard. I mean, if he was a guardsman, maybe he would have gotten his levels a little bit easier. But I tend to weirdly always have trouble getting Clint levels. Especially in the late game. But, yeah, the rest of the battle is pretty much ex running away. So, I wonder if... I think since the rest of it's running away, I'm just going to fast forward the last little bit there. So, um, that way you see me what I'm doing, but I'm but I'm not doing anything too crazy. So, uh, time to fast forward!
All right, we folks, we find ourselves back at the entrance. I don't know if I either cut it or fast forward. It kind of depends on my mood. Even though I say fast forward, I might actually just cut it to when it's there. Either way, Darius lands here. We end this battle with with uh, no losses, all wins, and all kick ass. Yeah, that's how you beat all the Crimson Guard. Now, is it the most perfect run? No. I probably could have done it faster or maybe gotten people more levels or whatever. But yeah, you get, <laughs> you get almost 16,000 gold. Enough for more mage oils or aura gems or whatever you want. Ah, it is sweet. And no losses at all. Oh, boy. What a reward. Too bad there's no, like... I bet if this was remastered today, there'd be a trophy for beating all the Crimson Guard here or something like that. But, uh... Oh, well. Huh. Enemy plotting time. Do you call it Master Darf? Dolph? A traitor was involved in the prison attack. Yes, I heard. Just, just before the attack, there was a riot inside, attacking from the inside and the outside. The prison couldn't stand. One more thing, the proprietors got weapons and the keys from someone. You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? No, not a thing. Or, not a thing. Uh-oh. Now we, we, remember we told her to follow her? Ha ha ha, you mustn't tell lies, little girl. Zio, Zio Kalamani? What? Zio Kalamani! Uh, anyway. Zio Kalamani, you villain! I was watching you when you brought Clint the key... Brought, brought, Clint the, brought Clint the keys? Why didn't you stop her then? Oh, I guess because you were only told to watch. What a creeper. He had me followed. Well, now he knows he can't trust you. I'm sorry, Kiro. I thought that I could trust you, but you betrayed me. Yes, you seem to betray everyone these days. Take her away. Whoa, who are these knights? Huh. Yeah. Oh, and you see they put wooden boards on her, those types of manacles or whatever. Not the metal ones, the wooden ones. A wise decision. You haven't forgotten your promise, I hope. I'm manipulating hell in order to rekindle the flames of judgment, and you are sworn to aid me in the pursuit. I have not forgotten for a moment. Good, I'll hold you to that. Uh, to it. it has come time to dispose of this annoying pest, Ash Lambert. I want you to personally take care of it, uh, see that it's taken care of. We want to see you taken care of. As you wish. What a creepy perv. Well, we've survived the ambush at the Kano City, but our trials are not over yet. In the next episode of Vandal Hearts, we travel to the Great Maasai Forest, and what awaits the creepy crawlies inside? Will it be a creepy man who watches us from the, from the outside? Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.